Okay, this is part three of our do-it-yourself mini CNC series. We're just going to be uh, testing the port and our setup here to make sure all our connections are working right, and then we'll connect it into our floppy drive and control it a bit. So what we're going to do, this is uh, par Parmon, is what we're going to talk about in this video. And you can just type in P-A-R-M-O-N, and let's do that right now. Let's look on, uh, I already got it queued up here. If you look for Parmon, what you're, the first thing you're going to find is a Geek Hideout parallel, parallel Port Monitor, and that's what you're going to want. Click on it, download it, uh, put it in a zip folder, or unzip it, and then that's what you're going to have once you run it. And it's Parallel Port Monitor. And what we're going to do is just be, you're able to shut on and off the pins. If we remember our pin out from our pr uh, printer port. You can shut off and on these data pins, which send a 5 volt, uh, either on 5 volt or off, to your printer pins. So, once we have that, all you have to do is click these little, little buttons here, and you can see they go on and off. And that's sending a 5 volt on or 0 volt off. And it actually changes the binary code, so you can run uh, run it in programs too. So we'll take that. We've got that all hooked up. We've wired in our uh, last video. We've wired in our wires here. And so let's hook that up in here, and we're just going to test to make sure we've got a good proper voltage going across there. So we take our negative, our black. We go to negative, and then I've turned on the state, high state of these pins and if you can see when we're testing it, it's 5 volts on for both pins. Now let's just turn one of the pins off if I can, there we go, let's turn uh, in the parallel port monitor program I'm turning on and off the pin now, if we can see it here maybe, there, so um, There we go. Now if you see, when I click the off position and the on, off and on. So that that means we're a good connection here to our interface. So what we do now is since we've got green is number two and uh, blue is number two and green is number three, we take these pins, or these uh, jumpers, and from our last video, We've made our prepared our floppy drive, so we'll hook those up into the appropriate numbers 20, 18, and 20 for step and direction. And then, if we have our pinout still from our stepper motor, we'll see that. Where is it? Yeah, step is number 20 and 18 is direction. So we're going to use those pins with our printer port and then we're going to step our head of our floppy drive back and forth just to demonstrate how it works. And that's in the next video.